I first got this sign from Dollar Tree. We're gonna go ahead and cut right underneath that pumpkin cutout. So all I'm using is a very sharp box cutter and just keep going over the tracing of the line and this will literally just kind of pop right off. You then wanna grab some of these jumbo craft sticks. I get mine from Home Depot. Go ahead and just lay them out right on top of that sign. And I am using this Dollar Tree adhesive glue with a mixture of hot glue to adhere these all together. And the adhesive glue is just a stronger hold. However, it does take longer to dry. So that's why I use the hot glue for that quicker hold. And once those were all glued on, go ahead and just cut off that excess as close to that original sign as possible. And after you cut it, just go around the edges and give it a good sanding. Next, I'm going to be using some brown acrylic paint that I get from Walmart. If you don't wanna use acrylic paint, if you have wood stain at home, you could use that instead. But I'm working indoors, so I like using the brown acrylic paint. And I am just using a baby wipe to apply this on. And once it is dry, again, it leaves you with that wood stained finish without using any harsh chemicals that are inside of wood stain. You then wanna grab these five gallon paint stir sticks from Home Depot, and then three of these palette boxes from Dollar Tree. I went ahead and just started painting the boxes with Waverly chalk paints and the color plaster, just painted all throughout, and then went ahead and painted those paint sticks as well on both sides, and then allow that to dry. Once that was dry with those five gallon paint stir sticks, there is kind of like a curvy end to it. So I just drilled a hole using a quarter of an inch drill bit. Now you got those holes. And I did decide to use some more of that brown acrylic paint around the palettes and just kind of gave it a good dry brushing all throughout the edges and a little bit in the middle and just did the same thing to those paint sticks as well. Now let's go ahead and assemble everything together. So grab that original sign. I just placed down those pallet boxes, gluing them down using that adhesive glue with hot glue. Just make sure that they are spaced out evenly. I just kind of eyeballed it to be honest with you. And then on the side of those boxes is where I'm going to be placing those five gallon paint stir sticks holding them together with that same adhesive glue and hot glue. And for this, you wanna make sure that the bottom piece where you have the hole is long enough for the entire sign. Let that glue for about 10 to 15 minutes. And then I grabbed one of these wooden dowels. You can find these off of Amazon or Dollar Tree, just painted that with plaster and then distressed it with that brown acrylic paint and then just put that right through where I drilled those holes. And you may just have to cut it down just a little bit shorter. I then grabbed these metal stars, also came from Amazon, went ahead and just used Waverly chalk paints in the color ink and just dabbed on that paint using a Dollar Tree cut up sponge. Found a good placement for those on my wooden boxes. I decided to do two on each box went ahead and just hot glue those right down as well. And here is the finished piece and I think it came out so amazing. So you could fill this in with whatever you want. I decided just to add in some greenery and that wooden dowel at the bottom is great for any tea towels of your choice. But I hope this inspires you guys to create your own in your own special way. If it did, please be sure to sprinkle the love. Thank you so, so much. And I hope you all have a good rest of your day. Thanks. Bye.